Hello there, everybody. This is General Snivy, and welcome back to more Let's Play Donkey Kong Country. Today, we're going to be heading into World 5, Kremlock Industries Incorporated. Let's go ahead and get started with Oil Drum Alley. Why am I not so enthusiastic today, you might be wondering. Well, this is due to the fact that one bonus room in particular, not this one, but the next one, has been... It's been driving me freaking nuts, and I mean nuts. And not to throw any super bad monkey puns in here, but it's been driving me ape shit. No, really, it has. I hate this next bonus room coming up with a freaking passion. Why? Because you have to get a certain prize, and you have a very, very limited timing to do this. And that prize in particular is the single banana. Best timing for it, wait for the frog to flash by and you should be good. Just like that. Uh, still couldn't freaking do it. I swear to God. I'm not freaking kidding. I hate this bonus room so much. And I've heard rumors that you only got one shot to get into that room. Otherwise, you have to start your entire playthrough all over again if you happen to reach the next save point. So, you know what? I've noticed I can still get the barrel no matter what. And since that's the case, I'm going to keep trying until I get access to that bonus room. So, you know what? Time for a cut. See you on the successful attempt of that frickin' bonus room. Got it! Hmm, it looks like there's another bonus room within this room, maybe? Donkey Kong, fool! Excellent! Hmm, what does this spell? Oh, Kong! That should be simple enough! Bada bing, bada boom. Now for the next one. And the next word is... Country. Huh, cool. There we go. That bonus room is now cleared. Alright, nice. We got six extra lives out of that. And I'm so freaking glad this bonus room is now done and we can finally move on -hoo 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 -hoo. yeah that's what I like man that's what I like to see I mean bleh. I have a feeling we're gonna need this tire for something and yeah I do believe it is called a tire screw you croc go away Dang it, the tire disappeared. I think we just needed it to uh, get the extra set of bananas in the O. Also down here, here's Rambi. We're gonna need Rambi. God damn it. We're going to need Rambi in order to access another bonus room. Just a little bit further down the road. But thankfully, that's not too far off. I feel like there's a... Hmm. Never mind. I was thinking... Pfft. Wow, okay. Gotta stop doing that. I was thinking Rambi had a charge ability, but no, that's not until the sequel. <laughs> Hello, this isn't Diddy's Conquest. This is... This is death. This is freaking death. Screw you. Screw you, you stupid orangutan. 
Seriously, screw you and your entire family. But in all seriousness, no. Yeah. In all seriousness, I can't speak! Sweet, merciful Moses. Come on. Oh, you gotta be freaking kidding me. Screw you, screw you, screw you. And there was Rambi. I thought he disappeared for all eternity. Hmm. Well then, never mind. Like I was saying before, I have nothing against orangutans at all. It's just these particular enemies are annoying. Shoot. Well. And Rambi's gone. He must have gotten too far off screen. God damn it. I seem to have quite a bit of an issue holding on to my animal buddies. Really, I keep running into every enemy I see. Why, I have absolutely no idea. Are you serious? And Rambi's gone again. God damn it. And you, kill me. How about you? Thank you. Please, freaking kill me. My god, this day has been filled with nothing but failure after failure. Same with the last few recording sessions. I am dead freaking serious. Take that, you stupid orangutan. I can't even say the word right. Wow, that's pretty sad. Now for this bonus room, you have quite a number of bonuses you can collect, which is nice, and you needed Rambi anyway in order to get to those said bonuses. Now for the more interesting part of this level. As you can see, we're going to have to traverse our way through some oil drums. If we don't get killed by the fire first. So eventually the fire will die out, so that's good to know. And when it does, that will be your time to make your way through the fire and the flames, for say. Dang it. Come on, Rambi. Let's go through this bonus room again. Get you some extra bananas. If we manage to do this successfully, of course. Pretty easy to get the rhythm down. No! Dang it! Oh, man. Freaking hesitated and that cost me my life because I slipped off the dang platform. Oh, really? Again? Stupid enemies. I hate them all. I hate them all and I hate this place. The second bonus room can freaking kiss me in... A very naughty place. Shoot. Come on, Rambi. Calm down, boy. Calm down. Okay. Next oil drum. Great. Blocked by the background. God damn it. Stupid Crocs, go away. I hate you all. Now, the other day, I kind of started making... Whoa. That could have been bad. Just like you. Stupid monkey. And I think I needed Rambi anyway to access one more bonus room. But don't quote me on. <laughs> Dang it. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna cut. I'll be back where I was. Hmm. I guess I didn't need Rambi after all. Well, anyways, I'm back and I almost slipped off. Now for this part, it's going to be rather tricky. Because the fire has three bursts. Once the third burst ignites, that'll be for... That'll be your chance to get going and get the F out of there. ASAP. And I mean ASAP. And with that, Oil Drum Alley is finally finished. Thank God it's over. Now for the next level. Trick, track, trick. 
Wow, what is this? A Star Trek convention? Not really. I've never been to one of those things. Speaking of Star Trek, I could never really get into Star Trek at all. I'm serious. I'm For some reason to me, Star Trek is boring. It's just plain boring. And for some reason I love Star Wars, yet I don't like Star Trek. I tried watching a couple of episodes of the original Star Trek before, and this was back when I was a kid, so I guess that doesn't help either. But anyways, yeah. Star Trek, boring. Why? I don't know. I just couldn't get into it. This level is rather interesting because it's kind of a precursor to another level that's also incredibly hard and infamous, and that's going to be within death. Dang it. Alright, you know what? I'm just going to cut to where I was. See you soon. Alright, I did it! Got to the end and made it to the bonus area. Woohoo! Alright. And also, in order to get here, you had to do, like, a roll jump off of the ledge. And that's basically how you get to that bonus barrel. Not too hard. And also, not too bad either. Also, watch out for suicidal enemies. They're gonna be everywhere. And they're gonna be in the beaver variety! Yay, beavers! Evil suicidal beavers that wanna ruin your day. And be like, oh, hi there, I'm a beaver. Here. Here, I'm going to sit on you and make you squirm, just like that. And I needed to jump on a beaver in order to get to that bonus barrel right up there. Or maybe I didn't, I just had to jump on the platform. Either way, I had quite a bit of platforming to do. Yay, platforming! Because platforming is awesome and that's my specialty, even though I haven't exactly been showing that specialty quite brightly throughout this entire Let's Play. It's been failure after failure in so many ways. This world apparently is no different. And I've made the same mistake twice. That's just great. Now, you may be wondering, how did I get so many lives? How do I already have 16 lives if this is a brand new fresh recording session? Well, normally the game resets your life count if you turn off the Super Nintendo or in the case of the virtual console, you hit reset. Huh? Well, during the in-between portions of all the failure recording sessions that happened to me, and oh, hi, new claptrap. This one jumps when you jump, and it's incredibly annoying, so you gotta attack it kind of from a distance, because it'll jump at the same exact time as you do. And these guys are going to be incredibly relevant, especially in the next world. And why did we end up all the way back here? Whatever. Bonuses, sometimes they just don't make any sense at all. Just like the... Um... Just like the Animal Token minigame bonus games. Whoa! Hi! Wasn't paying attention again! Also watch out for evil crocs. And if you're Diddy Kong, this will make things a little bit more tricky. Because of all the all the other enemies of which you can't really kill as Diddy. And also I realized you can't switch positions while on the on the trolley. So jolly good show. After we nearly die several times next week. Sweet merciful Moses. Oh great. We got another evil orangutan. Orangutan. I can't even say the word right. Also, I'm not 100% sure on my monkey species, but isn't Diddy Kong considered a chimp or is he really a monkey? Pfft, that was fantastic. Alright, finally made it. Woohoo! Isn't there a bonus over here? 
Nah, I don't think so. We're good. Or maybe there was. Dang it, I remember there being a bonus there. Shoot. You know what, screw it. Let's just continue onward with elevator antics. Because elevators are fun. And I want fun. I want fun in my elevators today. Have you laughed today? Well, more or less, I've been grinding my teeth to a bloody pulp. And I think you should know why. Now for... Now let's talk about the reasons why I like this world. I like the world mostly due to the music that plays through the factory levels like Oil Drum Alley and... There's one more that has really awesome... Whoa! Awesome music. But I don't like the bees. Because bees are horrible. They sting you and they make you cry. Alright. Got out of there. Thank God. Whoa. Hi. I hate you now. All it takes is a little bit of patience and some clever rope climbing antics. All right. Dang it! Dang it, dang it, dang it. Okay, let's go. I think there's a bonus up here. Yes, there is. I'm glad I checked. Oh, dang it. I wanted to spell Kong, not Ong. This isn't James Cameron's or... What's that guy's name who made the last Airbender movie that freaking flopped? Ah, oh, shoot. I done forgot. Phew. Okay. I have returned. Better, stronger, and faster. And that snake had done ambushed me. Freak. I hate that freaking snake. Nobody likes a sore snake. And no one likes bad elevators that end up smashing you to pieces. Repeatedly. And uncomfortably. Now for the next segment. It's going to be quite an interesting ride because we have to ride several elevators. Yay, elevators. I freaking love elevators. I don't like the fact that they are over freaking bee traps. No one likes bees. Well, I don't like bees. Do you like bees? I'd love to hear your reasons for your madness. Also, you don't want to fall too low when it comes to the elevator segments, because if you do, it'll count as a death. That wasn't obvious. Not sure about... Whoa! Hi! Die. Thank you. Now this is going to be rather tricky. Some really good timing is needed here. Just like that. Now for the next... Elev... <clears throat> Dang it. Well that done stunk. All right, I think we're in the clear now. Finally. Dang it, stupid baby vulture. All right, finally we reached the exit. Woohoo! All right. Too bad we didn't get hardly any of the bonuses at all, except for one of them. And I think there's only two in the stage. I can't say for sure. And wow, we are 75% within the game now. Wow. Holy crap, I can't believe we've already gotten this far in. In just a short period of time, too. Sweet. Next stop, Poison Pond!